Even though celebrities are usually above the law, it seems that on social media they are not. And even celebrities have been banned or suspended from a social media platform. And in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down the top 10 celebrities who are banned from social media. I'm Mackenzie Smith, and let's get into it. And at number 10, we got Donald Trump. The former president has been banned from the majority of social media platforms. The domino effect of ban started when he was banned from Twitter following the January 7th insurrection that took place at the Washington DC Capitol. Immediately after the riots, he was banned off of Twitter and Facebook. Twitter's ban was permanent, while Facebook's was temporary pending an investigation, although Facebook ended up extending the ban further. After these two major companies banned Trump, he was also banned from Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and even Pinterest. Trump has tried suing the platforms to get his profiles back, and he is currently in litigation with all the major platforms. So I guess we'll see what happens. And at number nine, Rihanna. So it seems that even Rihanna is not above the rules, and the singer was temporarily banned off Instagram after she posted a photo to the platform that violated their terms of service. The photo in question showed a lot of her um, backside, if you catch my drift. The account was quickly reactivated, however said photo was removed from her profile. Rihanna is not the last celebrity who was temporarily banned from the platform for a little misstep, and she has been vocal against their restrictions. And at number 8, Courtney Love. Singer Courtney Love was suspended off Twitter in 2011 after she made some defamatory comments about fashion designer Don Simoranker. Apparently back in 2009, Love took to just about every social media platform, especially Twitter, to rant about Simoranker, who was reportedly quote demanding payment for a few thousand dollars worth of clothes. But things turned nasty fast, and she at one point accused the designer of being a sex worker. Seymour Anker ultimately took the singer to court, and Love's feed was temporarily suspended ahead of trial in early 2011. According to Time, the singer settled the case for nearly $450,000. And this was actually not the last time one of her tweets got her in a lawsuit either. And at number 7, Azalea Banks. Azalea Banks has been somewhat of a cyberbully online for years, so it's not a shock that she ended up getting banned because of it. She had come after a number of celebrities over the years, but when she attacked Zayn Malik using racist and homophobic slurs, she was kicked off the platform. This all took place in 2016, and insiders from Twitter state she almost got banned after some controversial comments about Sarah Palin. However, this was the final straw. After the ban, she tried to get back on using a different account, but that was also suspended. And at number 6, Rose McGowan. Rose McGowan has been a very vocal figure in the Me Too movement, and she was the first celebrity to call out Harvey Weinstein by name. She was first banned by Twitter in 2016 when she tweeted about an anonymous studio head whose nasty behavior was quote an open secret in Hollywood slash the media. This tweet caught the attention of Ronan Farrow, who later published a New York Times report on it. Years later when the report was published and hundreds of other women came forward, actor Ben Affleck decided to tweet out in disgust of Weinstein, which a lot of people were doing at the time. But this sent McGowan into a long rant, alleging that Affleck had known about Weinstein's bad behavior for years. She ended up tweeting for Affleck to F off, but was not suspended until she posted someone's phone number on the platform. She got her account back once it was deleted. Halfway number 5, Clint Eastwood. After Trump won the 2016 election, Clint Eastwood was incredibly happy about it and tweeted out his delight about the win. But many were scratching their heads when his account was later suspended. Some felt the platform was limiting his free speech or even showing a liberal bias. But there was actually more to the story. And it was revealed that he wasn't suspended because of his support for Trump, but because the account wasn't actually Clint Eastwood's. I guess it was just an imposter that was pretending to be him. However, if the account wasn't verified, which I'm kind of assuming it wasn't, I don't know why anyone would really think it's actually Clint Eastwood. I mean, come on now, but okay. And at number four, Chelsea Handler. This case of suspension was very similar to Rihanna's. And Handler got in trouble on Instagram after she posted a racy photo that violated their terms of service. This took place in 2014 when she posted a topless photo of herself riding a horse. The image apparently broke Instagram's rules about nudity, which doesn't allow women to show their nipples. However, men are allowed to. This decision has drawn a lot of criticism from influencers and celebrities alike, who pointed out the blatant double standard of the policy. Even though Handler was vocal against the decision, the photo was eventually deleted. And at number 3, Adele. This is probably the funniest case of banning because Adele decided to actually ban herself from Twitter. And in this day and age of cancel culture, she definitely made the right decision. And it seems that her thinking was along these lines, and when asked about the decision, she said she felt she was getting too close to tweeting something inappropriate. 
and taking herself off the platform was the best way to avoid getting in trouble while she's drunk. Now, instead of being off the platform, her Twitter account is run by her team who tweet and post for her. And at number two, PewDiePie. PewDiePie is YouTube's biggest star, but he also has a lot of controversy under his belt. One of these is his Twitter suspension. Back in 2016, the YouTuber had his Twitter temporarily suspended and his verification was even stripped because he made a joke about joining ISIS with another YouTuber. But that wasn't the first of his controversies. He also got massive backlash after he posted a video to his channel that showed a sign with an anti-Semitic message. This video was not only taken down by the platform, but the incident got his YouTube Red series canceled. He was also dropped from the partner program. After all the fallout from the incident, PewDiePie decided to post less on YouTube and started streaming on sites like Twitch. And finally, number one, Kanye West. With all the insane rants Kanye posts on Twitter, it's no wonder that he's been suspended on the platform. But instead of being suspended for the things that he has said, Kanye actually got suspended in 2020 after he tweeted out the personal phone number of the Forbes editor at the time. This is obviously doxing and is against Twitter's terms. The ban for this offense lasted less than 12 hours and he hopped right back on after. Around the time he released the phone number, he also posted photos of his recording contract on Twitter so that his fans could see the arrangement. This was around the time he was fighting for his own masters and he felt he was going to get killed for speaking out against big names in the industry. So that's all for the list guys, let me know your thoughts below. Before I go, I'm gonna shout out some comments from Me and Celebrities Part 7. Sheila said, I'd give Haley B a pass. She took the time to own it and apologized. Mean people don't do that. That is very, very true. I definitely give her a pass for that incident. I didn't even think that was that bad. Kylie was literally rated lower and no one came for her, so that was just kind of interesting. Then Derek said, I completely 100% disagree about Patrick Dempsey. I've talked to him a few times while he was in Maine and he was nothing but nice and was very sweet to the kids that were around. I love to see, I love a redemption arc. I mean, sometimes it's just a bad moment and then we make it this big thing. You know, everybody has bad days, including and especially me, so I really won't call anyone out on that. And prep for it said, Piers Morgan is just ego hurt because Meghan Markle rejected his advances. I worked with her on the set of Suits. Long story, but she was very nice and she had zero attitude. I didn't know you worked on sets and stuff. That's so crazy because I just see you commenting all the time. That's crazy. Comment uh, below in the next video what your job is. I'd love to know. But thank you for that um, point of view. Then Peaceful Poetry said, celebrities are people just like you and me. People need to give them a break no matter what field they are in. Preach to that. All right, guys, that's all for the video today. Thanks so much for sticking around if you made it all the way here. If you liked the video and want to see some more, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel below. I've been your host, Mackenzie Smith. Make sure to check us out on social media and I'll catch you all in the next one. Oh, <laughs>